in my experience in life, in being obese and losing 200 pounds and maintaining a healthy lifestyle for over just about 10 years now, one of the key things is after you get through the weight loss is to sustain it, you need to eat on regular schedule intervals, meaning your sleep schedule and your daily routine and the times you eat should be the same, whether it's a holiday weekend, birthday, uh, whatever. The consistency of eating at the same time, you know, 7 a.m. when you wake up, 9 a.m. small um, snack, uh, lunch, uh, lunchtime at noon, uh, 2 o'clock small snack, uh, your dinner at 6, uh, a little uh, treat at 7, don't eat past 8 p.m. That type of schedule is wisdom for a healthy lifestyle, okay? And so like I said, I got up to 350 pounds. I intentionally just let myself go, ate out, ate whatever I wanted, and it was good. But also as I got into my 30s, I said it's not good to be this overweight and not be able to move around as much as I'd like. And as you get older, it gets harder to carry all that weight. So change your lifestyle as soon as you can. Just stop eating out. Uh, switch to whole grain bread instead of regular bread. Brown rice instead of regular rice. And just cut out the chips, the level of the chips. Now look, I got all the way down to 150 pounds. I went from 350 to 150 in three years. Took three years. But 150 was a little bit too skinny uh, for my height and my build. So... You know, probably the best weight for me statistically is around 200, but right now I'm close to 250. Now, I put on some muscle uh, and, you know, you know, I could probably stand to lose 25 pounds or so, but I'm happy. I'm healthy. I eat well. Uh, I don't eat any fried food or fast food or anything like that. You know, so, and what I can tell you is what I've learned is just stick to eating at regular time intervals and don't change that even during the holidays even during the weekends, even during whatever. You know, uh, when I first started, I did just say, well, I'll stop eating out during the week, and on the weekend, I'll eat out and I'll cheat. And that still lost 50 pounds because I just had an excess of weight on me from overeating way too much. But look, again, I went from 350 to 150, and I lost 200 pounds, but the main thing is even now, if I'm 250, to lose and maintain 100 pounds off for over 10 years shows you that there's something to what I'm saying. And what I am saying is eat at regular times, especially when you're done with the extreme weight loss journey. To sustain a healthy lifestyle is to be consistent and to not fall for the holiday weekend or the birthday party or the whatever. You know, I mean, you can certainly have treats and exceptions, but I don't care if your girlfriend says, I love to go out to eat. I love to change spots. I love to try desserts. I'll tell you, bitch, back up, okay? Because I need to do what I need to do for me. I would tell my mom that. I'd tell a girl that. I'd tell society that. Because the free Dunkin' Donuts at your job will destroy your health. The catered lunch will destroy yourself. And you'll end up wanting a divorce from that woman or that guy that destroys your health. Look, if someone can't respect that you need to do what you need to do, okay, then they don't respect you, okay, they just want you to amuse them, okay, so what I could tell you is this, get your shit together and be healthy because life's hard enough, you don't need extra health problems, that's the message in this video, okay, smash the thumbs up or really smash that blue join button so I can get compensated for some of this insight. But if you don't, just take the insight for free, okay? And use it to empower your life. Peace.